G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it has been a while, it's like four months or something since I've put up a video, but a lot has changed on the old Asventures rig here. And I thought I'd do a quick video on the new train canopy setup from Mid Alloy here. Check it out. <laughs> Oh man, sorry about the light and the sound if you, it's super windy and there's not that many places in the shade where I could film this that great, but I'm out in Killy Loop at the moment. Just watching people fall me up this track, so I'm kind of in the way a little bit, but that's all good. Uh, and it's freezing cold. But um, yeah, as you can see, I've done the new train canopy, Mitz Alloy train canopy. This thing is sick. I love the new look on the whole range. And now it's, um, I've been frothing on it. Well, it's been done for about four weeks now. Uh, we did it just before the Sydney 4x4 show. Um, mixed it up a little. Yeah, I'm loving it. I haven't set anything up yet because I've been away for work and things like that, but over time I'll do some more videos on, on how I've set it up uh, Yeah, in the future. But for now, it's just a run through of yeah the ba base model of how it's been set up. So the sizing on this tray is 1765 long, 1870 wide, 850 headboard height overall, same with the canopy, 850 overall. Uh, and the canopy is a meter in length. And then I've got 1700 of tray space. So on the back of the canopy, I've just gone with the spare wheel carrier and then the uh, ladder rack. So just to take the awning as well. So we've got three multi-rack crossbars, we call them. So just to take the awning. At the moment, I've just got the old Wanderer one usually run a Riot Co 270 awning, but that's just in the shed. I just threw that up just as a, just to ch quickly chuck it on for the show. Um, we'll see what happens with that. Um, yeah. In this video, I'm just gonna run through, you know, why I've changed the whole look, what I've changed internally in the canopy. And what I did is on Instagram, I put up a question thingamajiggy story. So I know people are gonna ask me why I did this, why I did that. So I thought I'd throw it out on Instagram. And as I'm going through, I'll just answer some questions. Let's go take a closer look at the whole new setup. Like I said, I'm right in the middle of this <laughs> power line tracks. Uh, <laughs> just four wheels. I'm really in the way here. <laughs> Everyone's been pretty good about it. Um, so I'll start at the back here and show you exactly how I've set it up. So I do have the sides and rear tailgates. And in the back of the tray here at the moment, we, we ran some cargo track, um, just so I can you got these clips so you can um, bolt stuff down if you need to, um, strap it down, firewood, chainsaw. I've got this Expedition 314 tub that we sell through Mids 4x4 Outfitters, um, which is pretty cool. It's full watertight and everything, dust proof. I just threw it on there just to give some extra storage on the back of the tray here. It's orange, it looks cool, stands out. Um, yeah, there's still heaps of storage on the back of the tray here. So yeah, if I, I'm out camping, oh, like, I've got plenty of space to put firewood in the back there. Um, then like I said, I've got the three, the three sideboards around the back there and the ladder rack on the rear here, just, just to take, the, mainly to take the awning, but then also I'll put some eye bolts and things like that on top of the multi-rack, uh, just so I can strap my swag down and yeah ladders whatever if i need to strap anything longer on top that all floats through as well so with this sideboard on the uh passenger side here what i'm planning to do is inlay the inside of the sideboard with um, chopping board material whatever the nylon or latex or whatever it is i'm going to run a stainless steel cable or some sort of cable 
up to the ladder rack here so when I lay it down it sits nice and flat and I can use that as more bench space. Um, it's just something I've been thinking about you know for a while of how I'd do this and how I'd set it up if I was to do this sort of setup. And also on the back of the canopy up the top here I've got a nice steady little work light, I think it's at 20 water or something like that. I don't know if you can hear me, it's bloody, it's bloody windy. <laughs> yeah. So just when you're reversing, I can turn it on or when I'm at camp, I've got some extra light straight out the back. While I'm around here, I'll uh, open up the canopy and show you how I've set it up inside. Internally in the canopy, it is a metre canopy, so you don't really have that much space, let's be honest, but it can be set up really well and make it really versatile. So I've gone against everything that I ever said, and I have gone a Bushman's 85 litre upright fridge. Um, over the last couple of months, I've been out for work in the 79 series and I've, only, I've been living out of the Bushman's upright. They are a good thing. The biggest thing about them is you just need to learn how to pack them right. So I'm going to get some drawers, uh, some little basket things um, for down the bottom and I'll set it up nicely and I can run through videos on, on how to set up a fridge a bit better. Make it nice and useful as well. And it's got a little freezer up there so ice cream around the camp, it's pretty good. It's really hard to get the light right in here. And then up the front here, I've switched over. In my old canopy, I did have the Enerdrive system. So in this canopy, I did go the Red Arc equivalent. Um, at Mids Alloy, we call this the Red Arc Ultimate system. So it's got two 100 amp hour lithium batteries, uh, 2000 watt inverter, Manager 30, which is a 30 amp charger. So that decides where where all your charging comes from, be it your engine, solar, 240. And then I've also got a 2000 watt inverter, which I'm charging up drone batteries at the moment. And then it's got your red vision. So with your red vision, it's really cool. You can just go on and I don't know if you can see it. Oh, you probably can't see it, but you can control your whole system off your phone, which is really sick. Um, over the last year and a half since I've been working at MITS, I've really learned a lot about both of those systems. And for me personally, I do prefer the Red Arc over the Enerdrive. So it's just got a lot of benefits. It does seem very um, in depth and real complicated, but it's actually really user friendly. Um, and it's cool that you can just run everything off your phone as well. Right, yeah, let's go and check it around at the driver's side. So on this side, oh, that's better, you can probably see me. So here, I've kept it pretty simple. I've got the big drawer. So this drawer does suit um, the depth of the upright fridge, which I'm, what I'm gonna do internally in that is I'll put some rubber down and on top of the drawer and on top of the shelf here and I'll, internally I will put some sort of dividers in there to make it a bit more useful for me. And then above this, I've just got a little 600 mil drop shelf. So one thing that I was thinking about when I was setting up this, or I've been thinking about it for a long time, was where am I gonna put my chairs? Um, so I used to, in the old setup, run two Austral chairs. They're quite bulky and I did strap them to the back wall, but at work we do sell front runner gear and they make the perfect seat for this um, it's about 450 by 450 folds down there's two two chairs that fit into a case and that just slides in there perfectly so that's just where i'll put my um chairs up there um, and then yeah i've got space to chuck whatever i want in here sleeping bags a chainsaw or extra tubs or something like that here we go <laughs> Rightio, so one of the questions on Instagram that I got from George, why the change if you're putting tubs for storage, why shrink the canopy? Looks mint as though. Thanks bro, I think it looks mint as well. Um, why the change? Well, this is the Evo 2 and on my, on 
the old setup was the Evo 1 so this is the new updated version so you know I'd had that canopy on there for two and two and a half years or something like that so it was due for an update just to get the new stuff and so I had an opportunity to be able to get it so I did sell the other train canopy as is um, no fridge though but I just ripped it off and we put it onto a Navara that week so yeah that's that's the change but my, well, the biggest reason for this change and why I've gone this size canopy is since working at MIT so the last year and a half or whatever it is I'm fortunate enough to see like every single sort of setup and not even the MIT setups other people come in with other setups as well and then using different setups as well myself I've always been a less is more kind of person as well and if I forget something while I'm camping it doesn't matter I just deal with it I've, or, I'm always leaving something at home um, so that's not a big issue for me and I do think that's a lot of like misconceptions about this being a small canopy I sort of worked out that it, between the, the 1400 canopy and this canopy the drawer that I've got on the driver's side is actually bigger internally so I've gained a bit of storage there and then I only used to store my seats inside which was about it was about 350 nearly 400 mil of unused unusable space just because it was taken up by those seats so in my head I reckon I've only lost like an eighth of the old canopy like it's really not a lot and then one of the biggest reasons is I thought if I was going to update this and change it to, to the Evo 2 I wanted to change it dramatically so that's another reason for this whole look as well so yeah so yeah with the tub for storage in the back of my car I don't have the seats in there I've got heaps of storage in there um, so I'm not too worried about storage. I just threw this on there because it's cool. Well, I think it's cool anyway. It looks cool. It stands out. And also that I can just chuck recovery gear and things like that, dirty gear, whatever in there. So yeah, that's why I put that there. <laughs> Our boys have been sending it up this hill. It's pretty funny. You get a big wheel lift as they come up over it. Uh, another question, 197 underscore JDM. Upright fridge compared to the chest style fridges. Oh, this is a big one. So one thing that I always said, for me personally, I'd never go to an upright fridge, but I've changed my mind on that. So with this whole setup, it is shorter and there's a weight factor into it as well. So I did choose to go with the upright fridge purely for a weight saving um, factor. Um, so I think the fridges weigh like 26, 27 kilos. And then with a chest fridge, you got the fridge, that could be 15 to 20 kilos, plus your drop side, which is 48 kilos. So it's a massive saving. And I'm, I was trying to lose some weight in this whole setup. But then I've also learned how to actually stock the fridge. So with your beers, you, you utilize you know the top shelf up here and and the bottom shelf so you can do like a nightclub system where it's a one out one in sort of beer system uh I've, I've been doing that recently in the work trips and it seems to be working out very well so that's one of the biggest reasons why i've gone yeah the upright fridge over the chest fridge in this setup purely for weight so one of the biggest questions that i did get was what's the weight difference between the old setup to the new setup. I did weigh it at work. We did have access to a weigh bridge. Here we go. You probably can't see that, but unloaded with the old train canopy, it was 3.04, just over three ton. Um, that was no fridge in there, no water. The tire was still on pretty much like for like as it is at the moment unfortunately that same day that I weighed waited on this specific specific weigh bridge um, 
the mob that had that weigh bridge actually took it away. So I can't weigh it on the same weigh bridge, unfortunately. But I've done some loose calculations and I'm yet to confirm it. I will go weigh it again on a proper weigh bridge. If I do do it between now and editing this video, I'll put it on the screen somewhere here. But I reckon I've, I've saved at least somewhere between 150 and 200 kilos all up. That's what I'm thinking. But you know, I will, I don't have any tools in the rear drawer yet. And once I set it up properly, I'll, I'll weigh it again, once it's fully loaded as well. But my estimates are about 150 to 200 kilos in total savings in weight between the two different sizes. Could be more. It'd be nice if it was a bit more, but we'll see, you know, when I do weigh it, how much I've saved. Another question, why the change? Uh, I sort of sort of answered it. Why not? But it was due for the up, the Evo 2 update. Yeah, like I said, I do get to see all different sorts of tray and canopy setups, and I've nutted this out in my head over the last year, I reckon. And uh, like generally, most of the time, it's Beck and I camping. I don't take anyone else with me in in my car, so I don't need to set it up for multiple people. Uh, like. More, for more than two people and then as well it can be just just me sometimes as well so you don't being one person you don't need to take too much stuff and the way that i will set it up i think it's going to work quite nicely so yeah once i do set it up i'll i'll show you you know how i've set it up properly yeah so other than that um this is just a bit of a walk through you know answered a few questions with this whole tray setup, tray and canopy setup, you do get your inclusions on, on it as a base model. Um, you got your 30 litre headboard water tank up there, your under tray toolboxes, your guards, 1500 rear drawer. So it's a lot of storage in there as well. I will put a, in my old setup, I did have uh, air compressor in, in one of the toolboxes, but I think I might, with this setup, I might look at putting a air compressor into the cab itself. Uh, in the car and then run uh, something out, a connection down to the back. Um, but in time, that'll happen. Um, we'll see, see what, what I do with that. But, you know, I'm, I'm absolutely frothing on the setup. It's, it's sick. I've wanted this for a while now and I was fortunate to be able to get it done. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if you've got any questions about this setup, drop them in the um, comments below and I'll get back to you on that. But other than that, I'm loving it. I'm gonna do more videos. I've been lazy, I know. I've just been so busy at work and I've been handed by a lot of people to start doing some more videos. So stay tuned, we'll get it done. Let me know what you think. Do you like it, don't like it? You know, is it still the world's best ranger? Jacko just got one at work and it's, I think he might be taking the, taking the reins off me. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, yeah, more videos coming soon. Cheers guys.